What is up guys, Tyro once again and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking Your Kingdom. In this video, I want to go over toppings for you guys because I know a lot of new players are joining Cooking Your Kingdom and they have no idea what toppings are going to do for your cookies and what kind of toppings are going to be good for each of the cookies. So I want to go over in this brief video exactly what toppings are and what kind of toppings are going to be good for certain cookies or certain types of cookies in this game. Anyways guys, if you guys enjoyed this content and find it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cooking Your Kingdom videos I upload on YouTube. Anyways guys, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so if we look at right here, this is going to be my seafarer cookie right now, but uh, if you guys look right here on the right, uh, you can see that there are going to be 10 different toppings that are going to be available in this game. And toppings are pretty much the uh, equipments that the cookies have in order to make themselves stronger in the game while you guys are playing uh, the different game modes that are available in Cookie Run Kingdom. So if you guys look at it, there we have Searing Raspberry, Bouncy Caramel, Solid Almond, I I think this one is, uh, let's see, fresh uh, kiwi, we got sweet candy right here, health uh, hearty hazelnut, uh, the solid almond like I said, swift chocolate, we got juicy apple jelly, uh, we got the, oh, I already said the bouncy caramel, we got healthy peanut, hard walnut, and that is pretty much it. So those are the 10 uh, different toppings that we have currently in the game, alright, and we can basically use these uh, toppings to boost the stats of our cookies so if you guys uh look right here i'm gonna go over every single one of the toppings right now but swift chocolate is going to have a base boost okay base stat of cooldown so all swift chocolates are going to have cooldown as their main stats uh and for syrian raspberry it's going to be attack solid almond is going to be damage resist and then we got fresh kiwi that's going to be debuff resist we got uh sweet candy with amplify buff we got hardy hot hazelnut with crit resist. We got right here juicy apple jelly with crit, bouncy caramel with attack speed, uh, hard walnut with defense, uh, oh healthy peanut as well. So we do have a lot of different uh, toppings right here. And pretty much to start everything off, I just want to tell you guys that really in this Cookie Run Kingdom game right now, currently, there are only three major toppings that you really, really, really need to farm and save up. And those three toppings are going to be one, Swift Chocolate, two, Searing Raspberry, and three, Solid Almond. The other toppings that may be used in certain cookies with certain builds are going to be something like, uh, let's see, right here. We got we can use sometimes juicy apple jelly and bouncy caramel. But that pretty much are the only toppings that are really being used in this game currently right now, guys. And even like I said, uh maybe even just the juicy apple jelly isn't really worth it, uh, in my opinion, because we can get crit uh, as a substat in this game. Now, after going over that main stat and three of the most important toppings that we have. Let's go over what we call substats. So substats are going to be the uh, extra stats that you can get on your toppings. So for all the toppings in this game, from common, rare, and epic, common can only go up to plus six, rare could only go up to plus nine, and epic could go all the way up to plus 12 for their upgrades, all right? Once you start upgrading your toppings, from plus 6, you'll get one substat, plus 9, you'll get the second substat, and plus 12, you'll get your third substat. And I have to say, investing in common toppings and rare toppings are not going to be worth it for you guys because of the fact that you cannot max them out and their base main stats are not going to be as high as what you will see on an epic topping. So I just want to tell you guys, if you guys are planning to upgrade your rare toppings and your common toppings, I would hold off on it if you can. I mean, if you have to beat some sort of stage and you need the extra uh, stats from the toppings, uh, then go for it. But I will highly recommend that you do save up all of your topping pieces, which are going to be on the top right over here, uh, because you need, you're going to need all of them to make your epic toppings from plus zero all the way to plus 12. But let's just go over the substats here real quick, guys. We do see the bonus effects. Okay, so that those are pretty much what we call the substats in this game. We have all of the different substats from attack, HP, crit, damage resist, amplify buff, defense, attack speed, cooldown, uh, crit resist, and debuff resist. Okay, so from here, 
Now I want to say that the major major subsets most toppings are going to look at are going to be something like attack, crit, damage resist, uh, attack speed, cooldown. All right, and uh, really attack speed is going to be mainly for the speed comps that we have in the game, mainly for arena. Attack is going to be for majority of your attacking DPS cookies. And then crit is also going to be for your DPS cookies. Damage resist is going to be for both your uh, damage cookies or DPS cookies as well as your tanks in the game. And crit resist is mainly for your tanks as well as uh, cooldown now is going to be for every single one of the cookies that needs extra cooldown. So that is going to be a subset and I want to say when I do the topping guide, uh, and I, I will be going over cer certain toppings that you should use on different cookies. And during that time, I'll go more deeper into what kind of subsets you should have in that cookie and what kind of toppings you should be using for that cookie in particular. So please watch out for that video. I will be making that video after this one. So don't forget to check them out. All right. So let's go now into why it's so important for us to farm the epic ones okay epic ones like i said can go all the way up to plus 12 when you upgrade it and you can see that your rare ones cannot have three substats okay if you cannot have the third substats then you're losing out on certain stats that you can actually get boosted from plus three percent attack is a ton guys also plus two percent cooldown is a ton as well as six percent damage resist uh, bonus is a ton of stats that you're getting from just a substat so that's why we do recommend that you don't spend all of your gold as well as your topping pieces upgrading rare toppings as well as your common toppings and just focus on upgrading your epic toppings now that we went over exactly what toppings are going to do for your cookies and what kind of toppings you should go over let's talk about how to farm these toppings. So if you guys are starting off in this game, you are obviously going to start at stage one or episode one. And if you guys go right here and click on it, you can see that the rewards, there are no toppings, okay? So let's just keep going and I'll show you guys real quick here, guys. I'm gonna go up to 113 and there are no toppings at all, right? Let's go into episode two. Let's see really where we can start farming these toppings. All right, so at episode two, you're gonna start seeing common toppings okay you're gonna be able to have a chance to obtain common toppings after you clear the stage and it is not a guaranteed drop guys so keep that in mind the higher stages you go up in the episodes then you the higher chances you have actually to obtain that certain topping so at stage 2 or episode 2-18 you're not gonna have as high chance of getting that topping compared to something like stage 12 12 so you can see that at 2-18 you have a chance of obtaining juicy apple jelly xs and french kiwi topping xs so xs stands for the common uh s is going to stand for the rare and then m is going to start uh stand for epic and also you're going to have a chance to receive topping pieces but you see that you only receive one so that is why it's so hard to farm for topping pieces that's why we highly recommend that you do save up your topping pieces as much as possible for those epic topping pieces because i will tell you as a player who has been you know playing this game for a while and who has spent money in this game one thing that you really cannot buy is going to be topping substats and you're going to have to continuously farm for you to get the best substats out in the game and for that certain cookie. So I will highly recommend that once again, please save up your topping pieces when you can and do not spend it on rare and common toppings. All right, so let's go back and see. So starting episode three, you're able to see that you're, you can get a S rated topping. So this is going to be the rare ones. And once again, it's only going to be one topping pieces. Now let's go into episode four. At episode 4 too, you're only going to be seeing S1s or the rare ones and topping pieces as well. And that's only going to be one. Now going up to episode 5, same thing here guys, only S. And you're going to continuously see that until you reach episode 6. And you can see that now you have a chance of obtaining an epic topping. And you do still have a chance of obtaining a rare topping as well. But now 
there is a chance for you to obtain these epic toppings. And I gotta say, there is not a 100% drop that, guys, it is going to be a chance. A certain percentage rate, I do not know the exact rate in this game, so I will highly recommend that even if you do not get it, I would suggest just keep going and try to grind it out as much as possible. Guys, I do, I beat episode 12 or episode 12-26, 20, oh my gosh, sorry. I beat episode 12-26 every single day guys, every single day because I'm trying to farm this uh, solid almond topping and I will have to say when I do it 10 times, maybe I'll get it once, maybe I'll get it twice, sometimes I'll just get like bouncy caramel and you know, it's just it's just how it is, it's a, it's a random percentage. But starting from episode 6, you're going to have a chance to obtain an epic topping. So if you are stuck, right, once you're in episode 6 and you are stuck and beating certain stages then I will go to that highest stage that you can be so for example if you're stuck in 616 and you were able to easily beat 6-4 okay or 6-3 or 6-6 and now you need a solid almond toppy then I'll go to 6-6 and farm that and try to get as many epic solid almond topping as possible so that I can equip my cookies with them so I will also have to let you guys know, if you guys go to your cookies, all right, you need to be certain level in order for you to unlock these uh, topping spaces. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and you will unlock all of them when you are level 30. So I have to say stage six and above are going to be the places for you to obtain epic toppings and if you guys continuously play in this game this game all the way up to episode 6 is not that hard all you need to do is you know have a good team follow my pve team building guide and if you do not have it then don't forget you guys can always ask for help in my discord channel which is down in the description below and also you can dm me on discord and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and also you can comment down in the youtube comments below and i'll try to get to you as soon as possible as well but going back to the video you have to get certain toppings in order for you to boost your cookie stat as you can see my pure vanilla has almost 50 percent damage resist so i have almost 50 percent damage resist that allows my pure vanilla to take almost 50 percent less damage than what he will be taking if he had no toppings on that is a ton of less damage that i'm taking uh, on my pure vanilla and allowing him to survive in order to constantly heal on uh, my team and for example now let's go into my sea fairy my sea fairy is receiving 39 percent extra attack as well as seven percent extra cooldown and 25.8 percent uh damage resist because of my toppings guys this is why it's so important and especially later on in the game and near the end game to have the best toppings on your cookies in order for you to beat the stages that might be hard when you don't okay so i would say toppings are going to be very very important as soon as you get into a stage where you can't beat them so there are two ways of beating a stage where you're stuck either you grind it out and upgrade your cookies and level them up to a point where they can be maxed and if you max them out and you max their skill out and they still can't beat it then that is a time when you should invest in some of your toppings and like i said you might get stuck before you get into episode 6 and if that happens then you yes you're gonna have to spend a little bit of your resources in order to upgrade your s or rare toppings in order for you to boost stats of your cookies and beat the stage that you are stuck and once you reach that episode 6, then you have a chance of obtaining epic toppings. And I'll highly recommend you spend some time on farming those toppings so that you can make some good stats, uh, good topping sets like mine, where Sea Fairy is getting a ton of extra substats. All right, and the last thing that I want to talk about is going to be the set bonus that we have. And you can find the set bonus right below the certain toppings. So you can see that it says for Syrian Raspberry, if you equip three of them, you're getting plus 3% attack on top of whatever you're getting. And if you equip five of them, then you're actually getting extra 5% attack on top of whatever you're getting. So right now, that the reason why I said I'm getting about 39% attack 
percentage is because of the extra set effect that I get from equipping 3 Searing Raspberry, which is going to be additional 3% on top of my 36. Alright guys, I did say the last thing, but I, I forgot one thing, so I want to say right now, there's another way for you to actually receive topping pieces, and that is by breaking down toppings that you do not need. So, if you guys go click on your cookie and click on their toppings, then there is a button right over here called Breakdown. So if you click on Breakdown, then you are actually able to select the toppings that you want to break down and make them into topping pieces. So I'm actually right now going to be breaking down all of my rares and common toppings that I have uh, stored up and that's going to be 252 different toppings and that's going to be a total of 415 toppings that I'll be getting as topping pieces. Alright, so that is going to be one of the ways for you to farm topping pieces. Anyways guys, let's wrap up the video now. So, we went over the different toppings that are available in the game and three of the most important toppings that you should be farming once you are able to farm them. That is going to be Swift Chocolate, Searing Raspberry, and Solid Almond. As well as we went over different substats that are available in the game and that the common toppings can only get one substat, rare toppings could get two substats, and epic toppings could get a total of three substats. And we went over different stages that are going to offer the epic, uh, epic toppings, rare toppings, and common toppings. And epic toppings are going to be available starting episode 6. And then we talked about different set bonuses that are available in the game. As well as ways for you to break down toppings in order for you to receive some extra topping pieces. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, especially for the new players who are still struggling and having a hard time figuring out exactly what toppings are and I like I said I will be making a toppings guide for individual cookies and I'll be updating the old one that I actually made way back in April when I first started this YouTube channel and I'll be updating it with all the new cookies and especially uh, towards the new meta that is going on in this game anyways guys I hope you found this video helpful if you guys did don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on the next topping guide that I upload on YouTube anyways guys thanks for watching once again and I'll see you guys next time